Hi, I'm Gene Krauts with Keller Williams Realty Group here at Lake Wadawi, and we're doing another one of our Why Not Wadawi videos. We're back today with Tom Corson, and he's the executive director of CFAT, and uh, we want to kind of come back and just talk to Tom. They got some really neat stuff going on. They've actually got an anniversary coming up, and today we're doing a tour of these villages that are out here in Randolph County. What a neat thing. And, Tom, I don't want to steal your glory. Tell me a little bit about what's going on and what's about your anniversary. Okay, yeah, well, CFAT was founded right here in Wedowie, Alabama, and uh, actually the basement of the First Methodist Church. We are ecumenical, work with a lot of churches, but also universities and other organizations to help people meet their basic human needs. Basic human needs is not a cell phone or a big screen TV. It's food, water, shelter, clothes, things that we don't think about, but most of the world really struggles to meet every day. So one of the aspects of CFAT is training people from different countries, and we've been doing that from, for 40 years, how to meet their basic human needs in a sustainable way. Not where we're paternalistic and having to come in and feed them every day, but right now we're in the slums of CFAT, and I like to tell people We've got the best slums in Randolph County. <laughs> and it's really set up that way. We've had people from all over the world that have helped. This is what's in my country, and this is how we do it. So it's realistic. It's what you would find in almost any major city in a third world country. And uh, we do programs for youth and adults. Sometimes they'll do a prayer walk and come through here and learn how people live in other countries, walk in their shoes. Wow. There are things that are so simple that we can do to make a difference. So we walk through the global village. We have nine different countries represented. And then here in the slums, um, for the hardcore, we've got folks that will come in and spend 48 hours here. And they have to live and role play. For many church groups, they'll come and do a prayer walk and just walk through here and learn things like uh, cooking three meals of a, a, on an open fire is worse than smoking, how many, 40, 40 cigarettes a day, a day. And you said that a little while ago, and I was like, wow, I never have thought about that. But that's true. I mean, their home is where they're cooking, all that smoke's in mm -hmm. there. So, I mean, we're, not only are they living in a pretty tough environment, they're inhaling a lot of that stuff. Exactly. Man, uh, well, this is a neat place to come, and it kind of grounds you a little bit. And like Tom said, our daily needs aren't cell phones and big screen TVs. It's, it's more than that. But, Tom, this is y'all's anniversary, right? You've mm -hmm. been, in, been around now for how many years? 1979. So uh, it's it's uh, we've got some international folks coming, and Saturday um, we're asking if people want to come to let us know, because we're going to try to feed everybody. But uh, uh, we've got probably 300 folks coming now, and wow. we've got I think five five different countries represented, and uh, hopefully you'll get to meet some of these people. I hope so. But um, it's it's great to be part of Randolph County, and and this is a hidden jewel that um, I don't think half the people in Randolph County know about. I agree with you. I mean, this is the first time I've actually been out here. I've been knowing Tom a while, and we've been coming out here, but never have walked the villages. And I think what's really neat is that you do get to see stuff, and you see it, it's real. It's not like in a picture where you're not sure, well, ah, that doesn't look that bad. You need to come in and check this out. And I tell you what, go check out this, their website, CFAT. Go look at it. I'm sure Tom wouldn't mind you calling him. Talk about why you can get involved and help. This is a really, really neat thing, and it's great y'all been doing this for 40, 40 years, years 40 now. years now. Mm -hmm. So thanks for spending the time with us today, Tom, and especially thanks for showing us this right here. Well, we welcome anybody that wants. We'll give you a tour, uh, bring your church group over, especially your youth. We have some wonderful youth programs, too, right here in Randolph County. Thanks, Tom. All right, here we are at CFAT's you know, little store y'all have. It's a lot of stuff from all over the country, I think, Tom. And 
We were talking about Howard. You're like our local celebrity, Harold Harmon, right? You got the keys in your pocket. So That's right. About any time. That's right. But tell us a little bit about the store. Well, Seat Fat is again uh, here to help people meet their basic human needs and that's food, water, shelter. We, we've talked about that. We were down in the village. And one of the ways that we can help people from around the world is teaching them business skills and teaching them how to make things that they can sell both in their country and, and overseas. So the idea here was to help buy their products and sell them. So we've got stuff, beads from Africa, uh, tagua nuts from the rainforest. Uh, behind us we have uh, chulacana pottery from Peru. Uh, we've got some of our favorite things from Ecuador, these hippie pants, and Gene, you need to get you a pair of those, because yeah. you'd be sporting. I don't know if I could get in those, but yeah. <laughs> But uh, just jewelry, all kinds of things from all over the world, and the good thing about it, it helps CFAT with our ministry, but it also helps some of the poorest people in the world sure. have an outlet to sell their products. So we're basically open when we have programming but our office is always open, and as you said, I've got the keys in my pocket. So <laughs> come down and see us for, uh, just for, if you want something novel for the uh, back of your lake house or some a gift to give somebody, but uh, we've got some really neat things, and don't forget about your Christmas shopping. There you go, good idea. Great, Tom. Thanks again for showing us around. It's really opened my eyes to a lot of things. I appreciate you taking the time with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.